Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today's topic is about the calculation which you can do to the DAX that is called the opening balance and the closing balance. Okay, so the basic thing is that we have a let's take we are dealing with the stock data or share price data or whatever what could be the scenario right. So there could be like for the each day uh, suppose which in an each every, every day we are we are measuring one stock price right click in this case so for the each day what is the open price what is the close price on each day we are recording the stock price what is what when it started and when it end that is my open and close price okay and based on that we are going to calculate the opening balance for different year or month or for the quarter level or closing balance in the uh, different year level, quarter level or even in the month level. Right? So here the point is there is a dedicated function we have that is called the opening balance and a closing balance index. Okay, But in this video, first part of this video, I will explain you how it works exactly because that function we can use it just straight forward one. But I will show you how to how this function works exactly without using that function itself. So we will use some other functions to achieve the target. Okay, so I already loaded this file and this file I will give it with the description or in the comment section uh, of this video. Okay, so that you can download and you can work with this file. Okay, let's let's close this file and uh, I don't want to save anything. Uh, yes, I don't want to save anything. Okay, now let's go to the Power BI. So Power BI, I had just loaded it. It's a very simple table only, one table only. That's it, whatever I showed you. And what I did is that I just created two measures. That is called, one is sum of close price, which is nothing but the stock in four, what are the close price I have, sum of that, and even on the open price also. Okay, then finally what I did, I created a matrix. On that, I just the stock price hierarchy data hierarchy year quarter month and day and i'm just keeping both information the sum open price and the sum sum of close price so this is the data you are getting it for the year level now let's try to drill down okay so quarter month and day here the problem is what let's try to understand okay so here if you see for the january okay the sum of total stock price or the sum of open price is somewhere around 751.10794. What is exactly it doing? It is just summing up every transaction whatever the open price I have for the each month from the Jan 1 to Jan 31. It is just summing up and it is showing it. But actually that is not the right way to show your open price. Why? Because I will tell you. So this is, is not at the day. It is just like on that particular day, my stock price is this much. Okay. So when I'm talking about the January, the open price, how much my stock is there on the January month, then it should be considered the first of January. What is the stock price that should be stored as a total or the sum of my open price on the January, right? Rather than it is, it should sum up this one. Just think like that, okay? Suppose you are selling something on the Jan 1st, this is my open price on the stock and it is measuring daily, okay? So when I'm talking about your open price for your stock, then what it was there on the 1st of January, that will be your month open price in this case. Same way for the quarter and same way for the year. So this price is wrong. Again, the same thing is happening in this case, a close price also. So the close price is when the stock end in the sense on the 31st, my end price is 719942. This is the close price for me. So when I'm talking about my January stock price, that will be my close price rather than it should sum up this one. This is the problem in this one. And this is the where the opening balance and the closing balance function works. Okay. But as I told you in the first video that we will not use that function. We'll start that. So first of all, let me first calculate for the each filter context, what is the first day of the interval and what is the last day of the interval, which you are considering here in this case. Okay. So let me create two measures quickly. Okay. So 
I say first day of my interval okay so I will say first date of my date the stock price date that's it this is my first day of the interval and sim same thing I will create the last date of interval okay so I will use my last date function here and I will say the date. All right. Now let's track this to column. First, I am taking the first day of the interval, and I am taking the last day of the interval. So here, on each and every scenario, we are considering the first of January 2018 on this case. Okay. And here we are considering the 31st January 2018. And for this filter context only. I should get my opening price and my closing price rather than it should not sum of everything okay that makes sense now how we will do it I will change it this one first day of interval I will change this to let's take open price corrected okay so I will just put a, some space I will say I will say calculate okay I will say my sum of open price and filter will be based on my first day of the interval. Sorry, this will be my filter. Okay, this is my filter. That's it. So once you've done it, this will be the first price. Let's see that open price corrected. See, on the first open price, this is my January total is this much only. That is correct. On the quarter also, it should be that one only because my quarter started January and for the year also, it is the same thing. Okay. Let's do for the last day of the interval. And let's stay. I will change the name of this. Say close price corrected. Okay. And this will be my filter. I will say calculate. I will say close price sum of close price and this will be my filter okay so this is my filter in this case All right let's try to understand now okay so now both are coming see now my corrected one it is giving me the for january the open price is 16161629 whereas the close price is 719948 which is nothing but what was there on my close price on the 31st which is 719948 absolutely correct okay that is on the at the month level when the quarter level start quarter level start date is this one so it is showing me that that one only whereas the close price for the quarter is 497896 it means the quarter end set for the first quarter end set march 31st right so let's go to the and check it out so on the March 31st, my closing price is 497896. That is my quarter close price. Absolutely right. Whereas the year level, the opening price is nothing but 1616 when I started at that year. And whereas the close price is 2973.65, which is nothing but my December. Let's go to the and check the December price. Okay. July, August, September, October, November, and December. This is December, December 31st. Exactly, see, December 31st, the close price is 2937.65. That is my yearly close price. Okay, so this is the way you can create your opening balance and the closing balance, and based on that, you can do your ratio or percentage okay so like open price minus close price divided by close price is the ratio or open price minus close price is the difference okay but when you sum this up this is not correct this is the correct formula for the particular interval we need to calculate when the first date of the interval when is the last day of the interval based on that you need to calculate okay this is the first part of the video then in the second part of the video I will show you how to use the 
the related like opening balance function or the closing balance function but this is the funda i want to give you this is the way it calculate inside the power bi okay hope you like this video please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this okay and uh, in, in, in just near future we are just i am planning to put a another playlist for the power apps power automate and the power report builder which is nothing but the paginated reports so do check it out that was and and please 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 do subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day